Welcome back to another episode of the Blues Hard Biker. Today I'm going to ride a Goldwing for the first time. Stick around. Let's roll. Well, all right. Hey, everybody. Uh, today I'm over here at Clawson Motorsports, and uh, they had a couple Goldwings in here. And I got to looking at them, and they said, hey, why don't you check out one of those Goldwings? We'd really like to sell one of them. And, um, of course, you know how I am. I'm broke all the time, so I probably won't be buying one. But maybe you should look into one of these things. Uh, the one I'm going to ride today is this. Now, this is a 2012 GL1800. They call this the Audio Comfort and Audio or something like that. This thing is like the second to the top line um, Goldwing. The top line Goldwing is the airbag version. And as you can see here, there's all kinds of buttons on this rascal. And uh, there's a whole lot here. Most of this stuff is like for uh, controlling your radio and you can control your radio volumes here too and uh, CB radio. Um, this is your um, preload adjust and your headlight adjust and uh, so this is the uh, the gold wing here and as you can see it's got plenty of room for storage this thing is huge so what do you say we fire it up and check it out huh I'm excited. I'm going to try to see if I can figure out how to make the reverse work on this thing. This bike has reverse and how the reverse works is you hit this switch and then you use the, um, the start button to work the starter motor and the starter motor um, propels the bike in reverse. So I'd like to try that as well. So let's see. Let's get, give, give it a ride here and uh, take a look at uh, how this thing goes. huh? Look, it's just looks like a spaceship. But before we go too much further, go ahead and, if you would, hit that subscribe button for me. Uh, I'm getting real close to that 1,000 subscriber mark, so um, that would be great if you do that. Hit the subscribe button, give me the thumbs up, lets me know you like what I'm doing. Hit the little bell. The bell's going to let you know the next time I upload a new video, which is every Tuesday and th Saturday. So, anyways, let's take a ride on the Goldwing right now. Let's see if I can get my leg over it. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, I've never ridden one of these before. So we're going to see what... Let's turn the ignition on here. And let's see... Huh. I'm going to go ahead and start it. I can't get the reverse to work. Okay, we're running. Where's our turn signals? Is our turn signals? Yep. All right. All right. Okay. Oh. All right.
how it takes this curve. This is a nice little curve. It's nice. Yeah, it wants to turn. Now the thing about the Goldwing is, it's only a five speed. Fifth gear is overdrive though. So let's see if we miss it that much. I'm going 80 real nice and it doesn't even feel like it. It almost doesn't even feel like I'm riding a motorcycle. Yeah, I'm in fifth now. And this is a highway vehicle, so I'm gonna take it on the highway a little bit. And it's a very nice handling bike. I can tell already that it doesn't feel like it's a 900 pound motorcycle. It really doesn't. I think the weight on this bike is like 930, 935 pounds or something like that. And it's about 120, 125 horsepower, I think, 124 horsepower. I'll put all of that on the screen. You'll see it. But it sits nice and comfortable. The seat's comfortable. I, I'm not crazy about the mid controls because my legs are so long. But I can see where this is a bike that really would be a good long distance bike already just for the few minutes I've ridden it here. I mean it doesn't, it, you can't even feel the motor running hardly. And it's just smooth, it just smooth goes along really nice yeah very smooth you don't even know you're feel like you're going about 25 miles an hour here we are in Madera County let's take it out on some country roads here see how we do this is the 1800 the GL 1800 but it's a six cylinder of course liquid cooled let's see how the brakes the brakes are okay um, I don't want to get back on the highway though I want to do something like this. Let's see how we U-turn in this thing. Oh yeah, we're doing pretty good. Oh yeah, not bad. I feel like a cop. You cop. Responds well to leaning too. Yeah. I've always wondered what it'd be like to ride one of these big old behemoths, you know? And you know, it, it, it feels really balanced and it doesn't feel like you're riding a great big bike. You know, it feels like you're, it's, it, the way the, the weight is distributed, it feels like a light bike. I mean, I'm really having fun riding this thing. You know, it's, it's opposing cylinders. I kind of wondered whether it did that little push like BMWs and Moto Guzzi's do, but it doesn't. You know the little, the little, when you, when you hit the throttle it gives you a little twist. The spike doesn't do that. If you ever ridden a BMW, a Moto Guzzi's do it too. But this bike doesn't do that. I think maybe because it's got six cylinders. It distributes the torque a little bit really could see where somebody could take this thing long distance it just almost drives itself and it, the windshield is nice everything's really nice on it feels really good Let's see if I got a place up here I can turn around Woo! let's give her some gas see what she does here
I mean, it's not uncontrollable power. It's very, very in control. Everything about this bike I have felt since I've been riding it. It's very in control. You know, it's you can feel it's got plenty of power, but it it does, it's not breakneck power. You know, it doesn't feel like you it'll get away from you probably because it's so heavy you know and but it doesn't feel heavy that's another thing too you know it feels like a light motorcycle and then that's got to be because of the balance of the whole thing you know and these bikes they last forever they really do you know here's the thing about the Goldwing you look at it there's all this junk all over it and there's all these covers and the motor's not very exposed and everything is you know if you ever have to take it apart and work on it it's a real bear but the thing about it is you never have to take it apart and they don't break down um, you know they these bikes they they go they go a couple hundred thousand miles and they made them to not break down you know this is probably one of the most reliable motorcycles that's ever been made and there's a lot of resources for them online there's a lot of parts for them because they made them for years they've they've made this model this is a 2012 GL18 and they made a GL18 for a long time you know and they've made them pretty much unchanged you know the uh, they they have another GL18 over there at Clawson uh, 2010 and it's pretty much the same bike as this one I'm not an expert on these bikes, but I you know, I've done some reading up on them and I've you know I've, I've always kind of liked them and uh, but just from what I what I see and from what I've heard, you know, these bikes, they're bulletproof. And the thing about it is, is you can tell because of how smooth it is. I mean, it's just, everything is very smooth. It doesn't beat itself to death, you know? You don't have to worry about, you know, a lot of things rattling on it or, you know, when, when something runs smooth, it, it'll run longer. And this is probably one of the smoothest bikes I've ever been on probably the smoothest bike I've ever ridden on and it's I feel perfectly in control of it you know it's it's you know and I say that because I've never ridden one and I you know this bike is big this this bike looks like a you know it looks like a Greyhound bus when you look at it from the side Second gear jumps a little bit. You gotta watch your speed in this thing. Cause it really doesn't feel like you're going it really doesn't feel like you're going that fast there's a lot of these bikes out there you know because a lot of older people buy these bikes and you know they they either they either buy them or they ride the heck out of them or they buy them and they sit in the garage and you can buy these bikes with little little or no miles on them fairly reasonable and the older they are that you know the less expensive they are of course but I think that this bike runs about I think they're getting around 12,000 they want around 12,000 for this bike and uh, 12 or 13 and it's a 2012 
it's got 31,000 miles on it, which is nothing for a Goldwing. I mean, that's absolutely nothing. This bike will go 200,000 miles. And uh, there's a lot of these bikes floating around out there, and a lot of them don't have that many miles on them because they're, um, you know, they were purchased by older folks that maybe, uh, you know, an old, older gentleman or an older lady would buy this bike. This is my last bike. I'm going to spend 30 grand on my last bike. They're going to buy their last bike. And they get into riding this thing and they just don't want to ride anymore. Or, you know, it's too much bike for them to, to, to ride after a year or two. And, you know, maybe they get hip surgery and maybe they get, you know, health issues. And there the bike is in the garage and it doesn't have many miles on it or they just don't ride like they'd intended to riding and you've got a bike that's never done any hard traveling and uh, you know they're reasonably priced motorcycles for this 12, 12 or 13 gram for this bike right here that's a great price for everything it's got on it and just how smooth it runs and how I mean it's just beautiful it's a beautiful motorcycle I can't tell you what I don't like about it because I don't know yet so far I'm pretty pleased with everything I love the mirrors like I've said in the past I'm nutty about my mirrors and uh, you can really see behind you well with this And this bike is fun too. You know, you have it's a different kind of fun than riding a sport bike or something, you know? It's like you don't even have to ride it. You just think and it does what you want it to do. Plenty fast enough. Very smooth motorcycle. Luxurious. Smooth. I feel regal riding this bike. Suspension feels nice. I mean, it's just really comfortable motorcycle to ride. All right. We've got Kim, Arthur, and Matt. And Kim Hammond. I'm sorry. Matt, Kim, Kim, Kim Hammond or Matt Hammond? Matt Hammond. Okay, because I knew her since I was a little kid. I knew her as Arthur. So that's Matt Hammond and Kim Hammond. And I've known them from, I've known him since I was a long time. Not since I was a little kid, but we were kids pretty much, our 20s or something yes, like that. We were. And I've known Kim since I was about 10 or less. Yeah. And uh, we used to ride your brother's motorcycle. And you had a motor, your own motorcycle when you were a kid, and I used to love to ride your brother's motorcycle. And uh, you guys are Goldwing owners, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and we I just drove the slingshot. Oh, okay. How was that? Pretty cool. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. I just drove a Goldwing for the first time, so so it was pretty uh, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. We got Lex over here from Clausen uh, Motorsports, and how's things going, Lex? Busy like always, right yeah. now. Um, yeah. We're doing the best with the inventory that we have, but we always treat, seem to find something that everybody's looking for. You get to come by and look at everything. Yes, and, uh, I do. Give us some reports and let everybody yeah. see something, but instead of just watching it, 
come down here and come, experience come it. Come down here and pick up a gold I, wing. I asked Kim and Matt who was going to drive the slingshot first, and her hand shot up so fast. She said, me. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right. Well, like I said, Lex, thanks a lot. Thanks and it's great always to hang around at Clawson Motorsports, and you guys got great bikes here, and you got some cool shoes, you know? Absolutely. Yeah, man. The matching, <laughs> the matching vans. That's right. That's right. And uh, and great, great to see you guys, um, uh, Matt and Kim, um, from way way back. I've known them. I don't want to say how long because it's way and, and, and it also it also scares me too, you know. But anyways, great to see you guys. Thanks a lot, Lex. We'll see you guys. All right. All right. Well, that's my ride. Um, Let's review it a little bit. Thing's huge, for one thing. And, uh, you know, the funny thing about it is, is it doesn't feel huge. <laughs> it feels like, you know, it, the, the bike feels light when you're riding it. It's very, very uh, balanced. Um, I, I was thinking you'd feel all this back here behind you and all of this here in front of you but you don't you don't feel any of it it's just everything is right on your handlebars and right in your seat you sit in a decent upright position uh, I'd like to have these a little further forward but that's because I'm old and my hips are messed up but other than that you know I can't see any problems with this bike this bike is just it's 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 pretty fantastic actually um, you've got double disc brakes on the front and uh, they do a fairly decent job of stopping. Um, you know, they're not like like Brimbos or anything like that that stop you on a dime, but they do stop really well for the size of this bike. Six cylinder motor, liquid cooled, 1,833 cc's I think. I've already said that. Um, I listened to the sound system. The sound system sounds pretty good on it. Um, you know, I love those mirrors seats fairly comfortable this whole setup here is pretty comfortable um, and like I said that if you're looking for a touring bike and uh, I would even say if you've never ridden a touring bike before <clears throat> that this would be the easiest one to ride even though it's probably the biggest one you'll find this motorcycle uh, when they say it, it it's like driving a car it kind of almost is but it's still every bit of a motorcycle um, it's, I don't know I think it's pretty fantastic plenty of room on the back you're a passenger and uh, I think that uh, if, if somebody wants to find a reasonably priced touring bike that you can take all over the country this is a good option. If you live in Fresno or somewhere around Fresno and you're looking for a gold wing like this, come down and check this one out. Uh, they've got two of them here and they have a 2010. This is a 2012. And uh, I think this bike's around 12 or 13,000 um, bucks. And I think that uh, it's a great deal. Uh, if you're wanting to get into a touring bike and uh, like I said, if you haven't ridden a big bike before, this bike would be easy for you to ride. It really would. It feels light. It doesn't feel like a 930 whatever pound motorcycle. You know, it, it feels very balanced, more so than a Harley. Uh, smooth, very, very smooth. I mean, can't believe how uh, smooth it is and how well it handles and how well it maneuvers. And you just almost just think what you want it to do and it does it. I give it a thumbs up. I, I, my, my first Goldwing experience was a positive one. Well, that's the Goldwing. I, I just really don't know what else to say. Smooth, powerful, luxurious, regal, majestic, uh, easy to ride. I give it an A with ease of use, uh, comfortable. That's the gold wing. It's the gold wing. All right, friends, that's it for today here at Clawson Motorsports. Uh, if you guys are looking for anything, come on by and see these guys. They got all kinds of motorcycles and stuff in here. And not just that, but they've got things like, like slingshots, 
and they've got ATVs and they've got snowmobiles and they've got jet skis they got all kinds of stuff so come on down check them out and if you're looking for a, a Goldwing or a touring motorcycle or just a cool motorcycle come down and check out this one this uh, 2012 here that they've got and uh, I and uh, like I said earlier be sure and hit that subscribe button for me and also give me the thumbs up and also hit that little bell now that bell is going to let you know when I upload new content and that is every Tuesday and every Saturday at 9 a.m. Pacific time because I'm out here in California so keep on watching I want to tell you how much I appreciate everybody watching and all the subscribers I've been getting lately I'm getting a few more subscribers than usual lately and I really do appreciate you guys uh, doing that and uh, leave your comments as well let me hear your comments I love to talk to people so anyways that's it for the Blues Heart Biker today I uh, hope you enjoyed the ride I didn't say too much about the Goldwing because I couldn't figure out too much to say about it it was just I mean pretty much spoke for itself you know it um, smooth luxurious regal majestic i mean i don't know what else to say it's exactly what i've heard about them uh, and it's a big old heavy bike that rides like a small bike that's all i can say it's just really smooth and awesome so anyways thanks a lot for watching we'll see you next time and uh, be safe and be cool ride safe and uh, that's all for for me today thank you again i appreciate it we'll see you next time